In this lesson, we'll cover visual landing, which is a simple landing method that's useful when visibility is good during the day in clear weather. I currently have the lesson paused. You'll be landing on runway 31 of Tbilisi Lochini International Airport, which is 11 miles straight ahead of you. You'll begin descending towards the runway when it's about 3 degrees below you, which you'll be able to judge from the pitch scale on the HUD. Then, by maneuvering to place the velocity vector on the runway, you'll descend to it on a 3 degree glide slope, which is standard for F-15 landings. Press the spacebar to continue. Reduce your throttle to idle. When the lesson is unpaused, fly through the gates ahead. When you get below 250 knots, extend your landing gear and flaps. Remember that your angle of attack, or AOA, is shown on the left of the HUD, just inside the airspeed scale. As you decelerate, the F-15 will automatically increase AOA to adjust to the new flight conditions. Once your AOA gets to about 20, use the stick to keep your AOA between 20 and 22, the optimal range for landing, and use your throttle to adjust your altitude. Controlling altitude with throttle will be unintuitive, but you'll get used to it with practice. When you're ready to start, press the spacebar to unpause the lesson. Fly through the gates ahead by keeping your velocity vector inside the upcoming gate. At this point, your AOA should be between 20 and 22, and the runway should be about 3 degrees below the horizon. Use your throttle to adjust your velocity vector until it overlays the beginning of the runway. You will then be descending towards the runway at the optimum. Once you're below 250 knots, press G to lower your landing gear and F to lower your flaps. Watch your AOA, which is indicated on the scale on the left side of the HUD. It will increase as you decelerate, and once it gets near 20, use the stick to keep it between 20 and 22 until you're at the runway. Then, use the throttle to adjust your altitude so the velocity vector is positioned where you want to go. If you are too high, throttle back, and if you are too low, throttle up. The throttle is slow to respond, so try to anticipate adjustments. If the velocity vector flashes, then its actual position is outside the HUD, and you may be descending faster than you realize. Aim for the first pair of parallel white lines painted on the runway by placing the velocity vector between them. When your seconds from touchdown, gently pull the stick back until the velocity vector is just below the horizon. Smoothly lower the throttle to idle. After touchdown, use gentle rudder inputs to adjust your heading and raise the nose to 13 degrees pitch for aero braking. Don't exceed 15 degrees or you could scrape your tail. When you drop below 100 knots, gently lower the nose and apply wheel brakes by holding W.
Congratulations, you landed successfully. Your touchdown rate was about 300 feet per minute. You touched down inside the touchdown zone. You can end the lesson now by pressing escape.